guys, it's Gron from Texas Street Cars in the shop. Today we have a 78 Dodge Diplomat Wagon. If you're a guy that's in unique automobiles or you want something no one else will have at your local car show or cruise in, we could stop at 78 Dodge Diplomat Wagon. But this one has an added bonus to it. It has a 440 swap done to it with a six pack carburetor intake set up. Obviously that's super cool in its own right, but the rest of the car has a bunch of other details we'll go over. Uh, motor wise, it's a 440 with the correct six pack intake, has the air cleaner, all that stuff. You can look at the pictures. It has a cam in it, an aftermarket cam, uh, MSD ignition and distributor upgrade, exhaust, trans cooler, a bunch of little upgrades over the electric fans. So going back on the rest of the car, it's automatic transmission. The rear end is a limited slip diff. It has four wheel disc brakes all the way around, drilled and slotted rotors in the front. It has a Corvette master cylinder and booster put in there. So the braking actually works really good. You're gonna want that with a giant 440 in here. Uh, the car started life as a, obviously a 78 Diplomat. It was a high option car, it had all the trim, the roof rack, power windows, power locks, AC, rear defrost, cruise, all that stuff on it. After the swap was done in the late 70s, early 80s by the original owner, we believe the car has 30,000 original miles on it. Interior wise, it's all red interior and it's in really good shape. You know, a 78 Diplomat probably doesn't have a bunch of replacement parts out there. So most of this stuff is original. It had buckets and a console added. It has an aftermarket Boyd steering wheel from the 90s, one of the vintage wheels. It looks really cool in this car. Color match is good. All the interior lights work. You can watch in the video. All the windows work, the power locks, all that stuff. AC is working, heat. Original radio in this car that has an eight track player that all still works. Uh, gauge wise, the fuel gauge is a little finicky and then the temp gauge isn't currently working. It's got aftermarket tack on it. But overall interior is really nice. The carpet's nice. Paint and body wise of this car, obviously you can see the wood grains, you know, it's just the vinyl overlay stuff they used by the late 70s, but it's all in good shape. There's one little spot where it's got some, some wear on it, but most of that's in great shape. The trim's nice, bumpers are nice, roof rack's nice. The paint was redone at some point in the factory color. It's like a metallic ruby red that looks really killer with the wood grain. But paint was done to a good standard. I'd say it's above driver quality. There's a few little chips and flaws here and there. But a uh, really detailed underhood, we'll open the hood up and show you that. They cleared the underside of the hood, the fender aprons. I love the way the hood opens on this car. But it's also got like the turn signals on the fender. A bunch of detail on these cars that I never knew about. But underhood is super nice. Uh, you can see the big 440 under here. Um, everything's nice and clean and tidy under here. Minus this MSD stuff, you probably could pass it. This was, looks more like an original swap. Uh, underside of the hood, like I was saying, is all cleared and looks really nice. Super clean body, no rust coming through. Everything underneath is nice. It's got a fuel cell in it. Uh, wheels are 17 inch, two piece polished torque thrust. Uh, right now it's got 245s on the front and 255s on the back. We have brand new tires coming for it that should be on the next couple days. And we're moving to a 275 rear tire. So overall, like I said, the car is really solid. Very cool look to it, definitely be unique. And once you guys hear the, the sound of this car, it's, it's uh, very entertaining. We had the original magazine that was featured in in Mopar Action Magazine in 91, like we talked about that. So uh, give us a call, 254-383-3517 if you have any questions. We'll go take it and drive around a little bit, and you can see the big block Mopar power. So thank you guys, and let us know.